TLDR, how to add your text, click the gray box, and then type. Hit enter twice, and then type again, and then hit enter twice, and type again for the story editor. Or just click the canvas on the screen with the text tool, and then type. And that's how you add text. And then if you want to add speech bubbles, take the speech bubble, click it. It's a later time than I usually video, but you know what? We're gonna roll with it. Welcome back to another Webtoon Artist Rambles video. No, this is my beginner process video. I'm losing track of time. I had to go take out the trash and I wore this. So anyways, I'm just, I'm tired, I'm frazzled, so that's why I'm saying the wrong thing. We're, we're on the next video of how to make a webtoon and our last action step was picking our webtoon font. And if you're probably wondering, hey, what font do you use? Check out the other videos. I talk about that. But just to TLDR, I use Wild Word Roman. And I also like Anime Ace from Blambot.com and other Sans Surf style fonts. If you're like, what's that? Check out the other video. And I have all that information listed. So, you okay? Okay. Mom duties. <laughs> So, next part of our video, we are going to, I'm going, I am, me, it's just one person here, I'm going to show you how I add text. And then your action step will be that you add the text. You might be wondering, how do you add the font? I, I covered that in the previous video, so just hop on over there, but it, it's simple too, so I'll just show you where that button is at too, if you're like, I don't want to watch that video. Okay. But, our action steps for today, you're going, I want you I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to, but I want you to add your text and add your speech bubbles. If you're like, I haven't even started drawing, that's okay. This is for those who have started drawing and they're like, how do you add text? And then for those who are like, I don't know how to do the drawing portion. We'll do a different series on how I draw, which is I trace over 3D models. I trace over photos of myself. Yeah. But I'm not going to dive into that because I'm, I'm rambling. I'm rambling already. And this isn't a Webtoon Artist Rambles video. This is a, a how to make a Webtoon series video for beginners so we're keeping it basic we're keeping it simple i'm not gonna overcomplicate this let's jump into it the drawing tool that i'm using is my wacom display tablet i put pink tape over it because i wanted it pink then i ran out of the pink tape so this is what we got her name's Cintiqua. i've had her for over a decade it might be decades now who knows but <laughs> this is the drawing tab that I'm using the digital art program that I'm using or the digital art software program yeah I said that right that I'm using is clip studio PayEx. I will show the different alternatives if you don't have clip studio pay X we will do we'll cover how to make a webtoon and it is paint metabong paint and all those others if you don't have a computer but you got an I iPad if you don't have an iPad but you got a smartphone we'll cover that in other series so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it <sighs> any hoodles let me show you where you can add your text if you have downloaded a font from like blambot.com or wherever you get your licensed fonts from you can go to here and then you can go here add you see that add font from files so that's just if you're like how do I add fonts that's how you add fonts now someone had asked a really good question which was how do I add the text to my webtoon if I'm using the story editor so this is what I do I click on story editor it's right here by story I go all the way down and I go to open story editor. This currently is only available for EX. Um, I don't know if it's available for Pro. I have EX. I don't think it's available for Pro, but I'll show you how to add text if you only have Pro. So for those who have EX, this is what I do. I click on open story editor. Sometimes I'll get like a pop-up like this. It says, do you want to save changes to episode 11 before closing? If you do not save any unsaved changes apart from the current canvas will be lost sometimes i get this pop-up when i've already saved so i just save again so that i don't lose whatever i have written so i just click save i think i get like a different pop-up sometimes this pop-up all edit history for canvas in episode 11 prior to opening the story editor will be deleted i have no clue what that means i just say yes it's like well what if everything is deleted 
I mean, the text is still gonna be here, so I already previously saved it, so I guess, like, a rule of thumb, if you're worried that what you add is going to be deleted, save, and then click Open Story Editor. I'm sure there's someone more intelligible who's probably like, no, you dummy, it's this. But we're not dummies over here, we just don't know. <laughs> so I save, and then I open Story Editor, and then I just click yes. So just in case it deletes it, I already have it saved, so I'll just open it back up and there it'll be. But you see, it's still, all, everything's still there. It didn't delete anything. So I don't understand that pop-up. And for the person that asked, so what about that pop-up that showed up? I don't know either. I just click, I proceed. <laughs> so I'm sorry if that wasn't helpful. But anyways, how I add text using the story editor. I type that box. I press enter. I press enter again. And you see it made a new line. Here's what I did. I type the box. Enter. Enter. And I get a whole different line. One, two, three, four. And that's how I add the text. And I hit enter again if I want a whole other speech bubble. Enter. Enter. See if I keep writing on this line, it's gonna be in one speech bubble. These are all their own, these are all gonna be their own speech bubble. That's just what I do. Someone else seemed like might be like you know well no that's not it i don't this is just what i'm doing so if you want to add text in the story editor this is what i do i hit enter enter and i type i hit enter enter for a new word jumble and then i type now let's go on over here and let's see what i did i double click and here it is open here now i'm going to take this tool right here so you guys can see, there we go. And we're just gonna move this down. This is just for educational purposes only. Okay, so we got our text added. Now, if you don't have the story editor, here's the second way you can add text. You go over here, click that button, go over here, tap, and then type. And then hit check. There you go, you've added your text to your webtoon. That's your action step. I want you to add your text. Now, I'm, we're gonna do one, we're gonna do like one more action step, which is we're gonna add our word balloons, okay? I'm just gonna show you how to add this, the pre-made ones. We can cover how to add like manual ones. I'll just, I'll show you, I'll show you how to do the pre-made ones and then I'll show you the tool that I use for when I wanna draw my webtoons, okay. Draw my webtoons, draw my word bubbles. So, we got our text, let's add our speech bubbles. I go here, to the little arrow right there. And then I go here, to manga material. Open, open, there we go. And then I go to balloon. And then I like dialogue. You can use whatever you want. This is what I like to do. And then I'll scroll down. I like this one. If you want to download more, you can go here, but I'm going to focus on just this one. And I hold and I drag, and then look, look, look. You see that green check mark? You see that? Pow, we want that. And it fits it right to it. Let's do it again. We're going to take this one, drag, hold over top. See that check mark? Pow! Let's do this one, little angry one. Drag, hold, over, pow. And then let's do this one. Drag, hold, over, pow. And it see, it fits it to it. That's why I like to do that because it, it just fits it to it for me. <laughs> now, if you're like, well, I want it bigger, then make it bigger. And you're like, no, I want it smaller, then make it smaller. Like, no, I want this one bigger. Okay, make it bigger like that. It's like, no, I want it, I want it, I want it smaller. Just make it smaller like that. And see, it's, it's pretty simple. Okay, let me show you how I manually draw my word balloon thing about Bob's. Now, usually this pen tool is somewhere in, in here, but I accidentally dragged it out, so it's now right here. <laughs> You're like, why are you messing stuff up? I don't know. I got this years ago, and I can't fix it, so... And then I just drag it and see, there it is. Let's click this tool so we can move it. I'm so sorry if I'm shaky, I'm tired. And then we can just, see, boop, 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 boop. 
it fits to it. It's really cool. I, I just draw a circle right over that. And then, you know, if I want to, like, move the points and, like, you know, do this, I can. But there's other tools that you can use. We're not going to go into that. Right now, your, your action steps, add your text and add your word balloons. Either use the default ones or feel free to use this pen tool. Feel free to use a balloon pen and draw yours. Okay, so that's going to be your action step for next video. Again, there's no pressure to do it. You can do whatever you want. I'm just trying to help those who want to start a webtoon but they don't know the steps or they get overwhelmed by too many steps. This is just my way of showing you just simple steps. So it's, it's it's like a two-step kind of thing, but I, I made it very long. I've been talking for like 13 minutes. <laughs> but yeah, hopefully that helped. Make sure you guys subscribe and come back for the next video. We are making our way through. I'm going to compile this together in like a whole ebook. But I do have like a, a different ebook that covers like everything. If you guys want to know like the tools, how I market, the software, art, art, art program are alternatives I cannot talk and all that I have an ebook for that as well that's for probably a little bit more advanced people but I will be making a beginner friendly ebook that's literally all these videos compiled together that's easy to digest so yeah I'll see you guys again in the next video thank you for watching bye you know being an artist sometimes can be tough because Sometimes we just don't feel motivated. Sometimes the creativity just doesn't flow. And then sometimes you just find yourself stuck in a rut. At least I do. But you know what we're doing for 2023? Instead of forcing ourselves to stay on the grind, we're going to take a step back. We're going to allow ourselves to unwind, or at least I am. And what better way to do that than by experiencing the magic of the Lion King musical? That's going to help. That's perfect. I'm not procrastinating. I am living and thriving and resting. Let's go have fun. So the Lion King the musical was at the Des Moines Civic Center and of course I'm excited but I'm also cold and my toes were hurting so I had to take a moment to take my heels off and put my coat on. <laughs> but we're still excited. Luckily on the skywalk it is heated in the hallways so I, we, we walked up there to get to the Des Moines Civic Center because I was cold outside and I'm just it was so toasty in here so warm that's why I was just so excited. Woo! Now the goal is not to get lost. And, and to find our tickets so I'm, I'm on mission number one I'm, I'm looking for my tickets which is at the ticket office so that's convenient now we're doing mission number two find the arena stair place where the musical is located and yes I did get lost right after they told me where it's at so I, I was like I went to someone to help me because I didn't know where I was going and this lovely lady helped me I love the moines they're so nice in the midwest so once we found our way and I made sure to say thank you there was definitely a large crowd that came out to see the musical which is understandable you know what's magical about just this story of Simba and his journey to becoming the king it just it never fails to inspire me because it makes me remember like who I was meaning you know the five-year-old me who was just enjoying drawing I wasn't worried about anything I wasn't stressing about colors I was just I wasn't stressing about line width I wasn't stressing about it I just wanted to create I just wanted to draw and you know as I got older I started like worrying about all these different things that wasn't really a worry that I had before and just watching the story of Simba and just hearing them repeat you know remember who you are hearing them say you know Hakuna Matata it means no worry it's just it helped so much because I've been going through an artist block and just hearing all of that helped me to be like, you know what? No, we're not going to worry about the future. We're going to remember how much fun we used to have with art. And we're just going to go back to enjoying art. We're going to go back to living and just breathing art and having fun. I just, this was just so magical and I definitely cried. So if you're feeling stuck, you know, come take a break with me. Unwind. Definitely go watch the Lion King musical because it just really inspired me to breathe and be who I am and Hakuna Matata philosophy is just like that's a vibe I'm here for it I'm taking it I'm, that's that's gonna be my philosophy for 2023 yes Hakuna Matata